All right, cool. Um, we got Kate Reese and Helena Pueyo. Just a quick note, um, Helena Pueyo matched a season high tonight in both points and three-pointers made. And Kate Reese is now 10th place all time on the Arizona scoring list. So congratulations, Kate and Helena. Great game tonight. Um, we'll go ahead and get started with a question from Kim Doss. Um, they kind of fought back each time you guys got ahead. What was happening that was allowing them to get back into it? Give you guys problems. Uh, I think it was a little bit of mental lapses. I think it just comes from kind of being a little rusty. We haven't played in a while. Um, I think that we'll get obviously get better at those things. I'm um, just a little rusty coming back from, you know, being out for a while. So I think that um, those are just a little mistakes that we're obviously going to tweak for Sunday and just come back stronger. We'll go ahead and go with uh, PJ Brown. Hi, uh, Helena and Kate. Um, you know, you, you held a uh, Leger Walker to seven points tonight, and that was pretty stellar. And, and mainly, I mean, obviously it's your defense, and a lot of that is Sam. Sam, it didn't show up in the stats, but what can you say about Sam's defense tonight? So, I mean, I think Sam is like, uh, what? Wait, sorry. So, yeah, so, I mean, Sam, I think she's like all, always there. I mean, maybe tonight she like di didn't get like all the uh, start, but I think she's always there, like always uh, uh, talking. She's always like hel helping me a lot. So I think like she's a very important person on the team. So, yeah. I would say she's really consistent. Just to say what Poyo said, she's, she's extremely consistent. I mean, she's always there. Um, regardless of if she's not hitting her threes. I mean, she's consistent every single day in practice and games on defense. And I think um, a lot of stuff starts with her on the defensive end. So um, she's a huge help for us. And, and just to follow up, what did you see from her tonight? I know she's always really consistent and she does this game in and game out. But was there something a little extra tonight that you saw from her or anything? Because... It just seemed like, you know, when you shut someone like that down, um, and, and she does that a lot, but when you do that, what sort of was going on tonight? Sam has always put on probably one of the best players um, out of the guards. Um, I mean, that's just what she's known for. She's a defensive stopper, and I think that um, that's nothing new for her. I think um, she's she's gotten even better than she was in the previous year. So I think she's just extremely confident in her defense, and that's something she prides herself in. Um, I think she just, she works extremely hard. So we're really happy to have her for an extra year. I'll go with Jason Barr. Yeah, hi, uh, Helena, is your 100 there, the shirt, is that for Adia's win total? I don't want to assume, I think it is. Uh, if yeah. You, if you can comment uh, on, on that and also for Kate as well, because Kate, uh, you're responsible for a lot of those wins. Uh, she didn't have very many when, when she recruited you. Uh, but you, you know, believed in her. So uh, for both of you, please. Um, I would say, I think, I, I mean, me and Sam, Ari, we've all been here. We, we took a chance on Arizona when um, they weren't good and we really wanted to be a part of the rebuilding process. So it's great to kind of see some of that through, obviously going to the final four last year. And then now Adia making a milestone like a uh, hundred wins is, is great. And I'm really happy that I could have been here to see it. Um, I think that um, we're going to have hopefully a lot more wins to celebrate. Um, for me, yeah, I think, I mean, I come, I came here a little bit later, but I think I also like have, have been part of this uh, process. So, I mean, yeah, I, I also like this 100 wins for Adia. So just keep like that <laughs> and more, more, more wins for us. I'll go with Troy Hutchison. Um, sorry to jump in there late, but uh, Kate and Helena, I didn't hear the start of it. With the 15 turnovers, do you feel that that was part of not playing for so long or what was behind that, do you think? I think it's a little bit of that, but also I think we've kind of been struggling with taking care of the ball a lot. Um, our average is a little bit higher than it was last year, so that's definitely something that we're trying to work on in practice. I think we probably would have had a little bit less, but yeah, I think we were a little rusty today and um, we're definitely going to be working about working on that and being more consistent on offense and just taking better care of the ball in the future. I know it's something that's going to be a big deal. We have to get every possession that we can, especially coming into conference play. 
you have any more questions for the student athletes? Yeah, I have one. Um, Helena, um, this is your second start, I think, in your career. When did you know you were going to start and what's different for you about starting than coming off the bench? Yeah, I mean, it's different for me, but I mean, I think I'm just here like to hold my team. I'm always ready. So tonight I have the op opportunity to do it. And yeah, it, it was fun. I enjoy it a lot. So I think it's also good. I'm PJ Brown. Yeah, and just to flip that for Kate, Kate, what was it like for you to have Helena in the starting lineup tonight? And how did that sort of, um, you know, how did you sort of adjust to, to that? I know you guys play together all the time. Um, Poyo, she, she does a lot of the one position when we're in practice. I mean, I had trust in her that she was going to come in and get the job done. I mean, obviously you could tell um, in the game, she did a great job. She looked extremely confident and that's what, just what we needed. Um, I mean, she does a great job of taking care of the ball, looking to open passes. Um, I'm happy she's looking more at her shot now. Um, I think that um, she could do this every, every night. So I'm really proud for her to have been able to star and have, do such a great job and have a good impact on the team. And um, just focusing on doing that, getting the job done on Sunday. Kate, did Jason? Harry drop the drum handle? What happened there? And, and, and was that on the fly that you just decided, hey, I'll do the first 10? Or you probably thought of that beforehand. What happened there with the bang, the drum? I don't know. I guess maybe your hands are slippery from lotion or something. I don't know. But <laughs> yeah, it was just a little thing at the end just to let her hit the last drum. I mean, she's had such a huge pack, impact on the program. And what was it like seeing her tonight, catching up with her? It's always great to see Ari um, come back. I mean, going from seeing her every single day in practice and whatever we're doing to barely seeing her is um, different. So it's great whenever she can come in and watch a game and we can all see her. Uh, Javi Morales. Hey, Kate, I'm sorry if somebody asked this before. It's the uh, noise is kind of loud out here, but uh, just comment about, you know, cracking the top 10 of the top, you know, the scoring list for Arizona. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a great honor. I didn't even know I was um, close to that. So it was kind of nice to see that. I'm sure my parents are extremely happy about it. But um, I mean, it's great. I came to Arizona to be an impact player to leave a legacy. And I think that um, I'm, I'm doing that. And I think that it's my, my teammates are just finding me um, on the floor. So they do a great job of that. And I'm just really happy that um, I could get that tonight. Troy? Elena, you went three for four from the three-point line. What were you seeing out there tonight? Um, yeah, I mean, I think tonight I try like to shoot more the the ball like, like than all other games. So I think it, it was good. So I think I'm just gonna keep like doing that on the next game. And yeah. When you were inserted to the starting lineup today, was that like mm -hmm. the point of emphasis that Adia talked to you about in terms of taking your shot, not being afraid to shoot the ball? Yeah, they just uh, told me to be like more aggressive. So I think I did that like better, but yeah, I'm always looking for my uh, teammates too. So I think it's that what I'm doing, just looking for a good passes too for my uh, teammates and also like shoot, shoot the ball. Any more questions for the student athletes? Thank you, ladies. Thank and you. I will uh, be back Thanks. with Adia and Ari McDonald uh, directly. All right, just a uh, quick note before we get started here. Um, today was obviously Coach Barnes' 100th career win. She's the fastest coach to 100 wins in program history, doing it in 166 games, um, beating out her old coach, uh, John Bonvincini, who did it in 181. So we'll go ahead and we'll get started with a uh, quick statement from Coach Barnes, and then we'll get into some questions. I already see some raised hands, so we'll get right into it after a statement. You know, I'm extremely um, proud of our team. They showed resiliency tonight. Um, we played a very good team. Um, Washington State has all five returners back. Um, they play really well offensively. They have a lot of weapons, and they just kind of grind on you. Um, so we knew this was going to be a tough game. Um, but I'm just proud of the way that we found a way to win. It wasn't perfect. We haven't played in 25 days. We're down two starters, two really important starters. Um, you know, we're down Lauren, who's our best post defender. 
um, one of our best rim protectors, shot blockers. And then, you know, to be down Shayna, who's extremely athletic and quick and presses the ball like Ari used to do, you know, for 30 plus minutes. So, you know, we looked really different today, had people out of position, but we just found a way to grind it out and different people stepped up at different times. So proud of our team. Go ahead and get started with Troy. You mentioned being down two starters. Um, is Shayna Pellington, is that an injury thing or a COVID related thing? Is that anything you can share or no? Well, she's just out. So she's just going to be out for a couple more days, but possibly back on Sunday, just not sure. And then seeing how your team came out of the gates, uh, you guys were firing on all cylinders that first quarter. How did you like the start to that game? Well, I really liked the start, but then I didn't like what happened after that. So the start, and then we kind of got stagnant. We just had some really high, um, you know, highs and lows today. So we would have a glimpse of great defensive possessions. And, you know, I thought in the first half pretty good defensively, but couldn't find a way to score. I felt like we couldn't, we were running a lot of different types of offenses and just couldn't find a rhythm and weren't in sync offensively. I think a lot of that's attributed to not playing for a while. Um, I think that we weren't in, you know, game shape, which I think everybody around the league is going to, or half of the league right now is going to be going through that. Everybody that was on pause from COVID and had multiple days off, um, you're seeing that. So you're seeing that across the league. But unfortunately, this is our new reality. And we're probably going to go into most weekends without a player. And so I think um, that's just what it is. But we're a good team with depth. So different people have to be prepared when their opportunity comes. Kim? Uh, this is for Ari. Um, being back here, Ari, um, what was the feeling? It felt good to be back, especially with a Pac-12 game, the team's first game in like a couple weeks. And I really liked it. And the fans gave me a warm welcome. And um, I was just really happy. And, and we're happy to you, be back. Yeah. How are you feeling? I mean, uh, what are you doing to stay positive now? I know you talked about needing to get your mental health back. And how are you feeling? I'm great. Um, I had my break. I'm back to working out, being my regular self. So I'm good to go. Well, you know, a lot of times, I think for rookies in the WNBA, when you go overseas, it is challenging on all fronts. All of us professionals, we all went through that. I've gone through that num numerous times because a couple of things. It's a tremendous amount of, of, of adversity. You're a lot of times on a team. You're the only one that speaks English. You can't like, I remember I was in Russia and Ukraine. I couldn't read the signs, you know, can't order stuff. So it's really challenging. And so that's why I think you see a lot of players go through that. And that's really normal. It takes years and, you know, going to the right place and kind of sticking it out. But I'm sure she'll one day be back overseas. But if not, she's training and doing the right thing and, and working hard and doing marketing for the team. So she's doing some amazing things being back and she's happy and she's with her fiance and family. So I think it's a perfect, a perfect off season. Asher. Hi, this was also for Ari. Um, I just wondered, you know, in your return back after your rookie season, just what was it like to see your name up in the rafters with all the other greats like you? It's surreal. Uh, I remember uh, Adia and I was talking about this. She was like, it's going to take like five years. And I literally get a text like months ago. They was like, oh, you're about to go in the ring of honor. I was like. It used to take, it took mine probably like 15 years. So, but she was a little bit more important than me. She got in faster. She has way more clout than me. But nah, it's a blessing. I'm up there with great company. When she did so many amazing things, just think about, Ari took a chance to come here when no one believed in Arizona. I took a chance to the job. Ari took a chance to come to Arizona when we weren't good. And it was a leap of faith for her. She didn't know if we were going to be good. She didn't know if we were going to be able to recruit good. She knew her ability, but she didn't know who would surround her. But then she worked hard. She helped recruit different players. She got better and better every year. And then she's the one that started all this. So she can look in a crowd. She can look at the players we have and she could say, you know, I did that. I'm the one that started that. And I think that's a really special feeling. And she helped create something really special here at Arizona and she'll never be forgotten. I told you she could be the mayor if she wants. PJ? Yeah, this one's for Ari too. You know, tonight was a special night for you to have your um, to be to become part of the Ring of Honor, and what does it mean to you to come back on a night where your coach wins? You know, her hundredth game is the fastest U of A coach, women's coach, to get to a hundred, and it's such a special night for her not only to have you up in the Ring of Honor, but to get that one hundredth win. 
And, and what's that like for you to be here in this moment for her? It was definitely a special moment. Um, she's creating history herself. And this is the person that I started it with. Uh, before I made my name, I made my mark. This is the person that I trust in, started my mark, and just really committed to a person. And just for her to have her 100th win and less, uh, less gain. So that's, and that's we pretty good. I remember my second year. That was rough. <laughs> Six wins my second so, year. With her on the sideline, I remember we were awful, right? Uh, you know, working hard, great kids. Like, we knew we were going to be bad. Take a step back to move forward. And um, I remember looking at the bench. I had Ari out. I had TT and Dominique. And I was thinking, like, oh, okay, we'll be a little bit better the next year and just optimistic. But they used to kick our butt every day in practice. That was a hard year. Even personally, it was a hard year. So, but just to do it with her and to watch her grow and flourish through the process and become the woman she is today. I, it makes me proud the way she conducts herself professionally. I think that's what this program's all about. She came here, believe she did it with me, but to see what she's done, it's pretty amazing. She's just starting an amazing career and she'll be even better now, you know, for the dream with Tanisha as the coach, because Tanisha is a defensive stopper, a point guard herself. So I'm just excited to see her next steps. And she's got the whole Tucson behind her and, you know, following her and hopefully one day she can get to Phoenix, but I don't know, except right down the road. Um, but that's just my side comment. But, um, you know, I'm just proud of everything she's done and the woman that she is today. And, and um, just a quick follow up for Adia on the flip side, when you were going through that six game, six win season, did you think you'd be at this point four years later? No, I did not. I thought maybe 10. Um, I, I knew, like, I knew we'd be good. Did I know, okay, year five, we'd go to the national championship? Absolutely not. Um, I knew that it would take time. I knew that the culture, all those things, I mean, Eric can um, um, talk about how the culture changed and it took time, but I thought it would take more time, but I thought we'd be good. I think it just happened a little faster, but because of players like her, TT, Dominique, but Ari taking a chance here, you know, made it faster because she, and, and think of how much Ari changed. So Ari did these things. She was like, I asked her to do a lot. I was like, Ari, can you come here? Can you be our defensive stopper? Can you be our offensive player? Can you do both for like 39 and a half minutes a game? I remember early in her career, she would come out to her water. And after she took a sip, I'd be like, are you ready to go back in? You know, but she embraced that and she did it. And she um, stepped up to the challenge and it was hard, but it made her better. And I'm just happy that we did it together. I thought we made a really good team. Javi? Hey, Adia, um, what's it gonna take for somebody to, to wear her number two again? I mean, is that ever gonna happen? Well, so I don't know the process of that. That's like above me. That's a Dave Hickey. Um, I don't know the process of retiring jerseys, and I don't know how often that is now. I, I don't really know, but I mean, I would support anything they want to do for Ari. I mean, they can name anything after her. I'm all for it. Just because she means a lot to this program. Without her, we wouldn't be where we are. So, um, you know, I'm anything that this school would do. Like, I pushed for it. I remember I was pushing in the ring of honor to be this fast. I, I wanted that, too. Um, you know, and if Ari was overseas, it probably wouldn't have been able to happen right now. So, you know, everything happens for a reason the way it's supposed to. And whatever they can do for Ari, I'm all for it. And this place wants to do a lot of amazing things, like in many more years to come. Right. Other than Shantanese Polk, uh, none of the women have a number up there yet. Some some think might you might have their, your number idea. But now Ari, too, just do you feel like it's just a matter of time now? Where we're going to see some women's numbers up there? Yeah, for sure, because we didn't like we weren't good for a long time. Like the last 10 years before I got the job after Joan, we weren't good. So I think that there wasn't we weren't doing anything to kind of uh, establish that. But Ari, being an All-American, multi-year All-American, defensive and offensive player of the year in the Pac-12, multiple years, uh, being the number three pick, I think that that's a totally different conversation. And it's uncharted territory for us. So um, if, the, if she meets the criteria, which I think she would, I'm all pushed for that. I mean, if she could have a statue, I mean, there's just a lot of stuff that I would push for for her because she deserves it. And she came here and she did, and she put Arizona on the map. So she deserves all that. So I would be pushing for everything that she could get. Kim? Um, Ari, I saw the video you and Devon did. Um, what brought those about? And are you guys going to do more of those? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> we are. We have a couple videos on the way, so. <laughs> They'll be interesting. 
PG though. They're PG. <laughs> yeah, because a lot of the Atlanta Dream, they like to make videos. So you know, a lot of pros. It's different when you're a professional. You can make a lot of crazy videos. You can do crazy stuff. When you're an amateur, it's a little bit different. The rule. I'm watching a lot of that stuff. So. Uh, Troy. Adia, getting back to the game real quick, with the 15 turnovers, do you think that's just not playing in so long, just not being used to a game yet and not being in that situation? I, I think it's th that's an excuse. Like, I'll be making excuses right now. It is from rust. It is from just out of sync, different people in different positions. But despite that, we can't have 15. I think, you know, Koi came in and had, I think, five herself. In some of those, like, they're just not turnovers that we can have at those times in the game, but it was everybody. Everybody to have a couple, that's not us. And usually we're, we do a really good job. I mean, Sam having to, Mariah to, you know, everybody had a couple. And it's just, you know, Washington State's not the type of defense where they're trying to turn you over. So I think um, we have to clean that up for sure. But you're also missing our starting point guard and our starting five. So I think Araya is like a starter, though, but they're just so different. Um, but, you know, I think that we, ha we have to do a better job of taking care of them all. Because if we would have taken care of the basketball and didn't have those key turnovers, the game would have been really different. I think it, we could have, um, you know, won by double digits. But um, just give Washington State credit. They doubled us at different times. They had us on our heels a lot. So I think they did a really good job, and they're a good team. But um, we know we have to play better, and we will play better. It's our first game in 25 days and a lot going on. and we've A lot of players out with COVID. That's not an excuse. It's just a reality. So I think you're going to see all around the Pac-12, everybody who's just on pause, they're all going to look rusty. And that's the reality. And that's, that's OK, but we, we need to be better. We'll go after she. Oh, go ahead, Troy. Sorry. No problem. With Helena, she went three for four from the three-point line. What did you see to her getting that start today? I saw um, her do a phenomenal job at the one. I saw her handle the ball with poise and um, you know, when we just, she finds out last second yesterday, hey, you're going to be a starting point guard tomorrow. It's like, oh, it's adjustment and it's hard. And it's a, it's a team that they kind of full court press you and put a little pressure. So it's not an easy game. It's not like they sat in the half court. So um, I asked Lena to, to do a lot. I thought she did a great job of stepping up to the plate. Zero turnovers. Zero turnovers <laughs> as a point guard being, handling the ball. So I think her, I think Sam, I think Bendu did a really good job. I think that everybody stepped up in different ways. It wasn't pretty, but we found a way to grit it out. And that's what good teams do. And, um, you know, we know our strengths and our weaknesses and different people have to step up. And there might be a time where, you know, Bendy played some four tonight. She hadn't played the four in a long time. But they're winners. You know, Kate, Bendu, Sam, they've been there. They've played at the highest level. They played in the championship game. So uh, they find a way. And I'm just proud of how they all stepped up and helped us win this game. Asher and then PJ. All right, this is a, this is a little switch from the game, but I saw the video that was posted earlier of the basket you made in response to the one that Don Staley uh, took yesterday. And I've got to ask, was that your first try? No, I was. So, well, yeah, it was my first try. Yeah, I got no, it wasn't. Um, it was like my fifth try, but it's like I was shocked because I'm not really that strong. And I was like on point, like on track to almost make them. They were all almost going in. I was kind of surprised. I thought I was going to be like hitting air balls and stuff. And I have no idea. I never practiced that shot. Like I just saw they were like, oh, do you want to do the Don Staley challenge? I was like, sure. I love Don. And so I did it and I just, I was happy. But the dancing, don't judge me from my dancing skills, please. <laughs> that was just like I was feeling it in the moment. So <laughs> don't judge me off that I can't dance at all. PJ? So this is for Adia. You've um, so far this season, every hurdle that's come your way, you've come out on top. What do you think your identity is at this moment in the season? And I know it's early and you have, you've played now 11 games, but where do you think that stands right now? Um, well, you know, it's funny because today's game felt like the beginning of the season. It didn't feel like we played 10 games. It truly, I think to our team and myself, it felt like we just started the season today. Um, so that was, it was kind of weird to have such a big pause. Um, I think that everything's just like, it's different right now. It's like we have fans, the COVID's worse. It's like, it's just a, it's a, a strange time. And I think um, our team handles adversity. It's them. Like they find a way, they, 
want to win, they fight. So it's not me. It's, it's just how they step up to the plate and figure it out. I mean, we did that against Louisville in South Dakota. We did that um, in St. Thomas against Vanderbilt, Rutgers, and DePaul. So we just find a way to, to win. And that, um, you know, it, but I, I really see the difference in the players that played in the championship game last year. The Bendu, Kate, Sam, even Maddie, all those players that experienced it because they have a different sense of urgency and belief that we can win everything. And I see that when things go tough or we need a really big play. And that experience is invaluable. And they just find a way to get done. So I'm just proud of them. And you know, I just love coaching this team. Do we have any more questions for Coach Barnes? Awesome. Thank you, everybody. Uh, thank, thank you, Coach you. and Mary. Um, and we will uh, talk to you guys post game on Sunday. So thanks. Thank you. Hear it out. Bye.